So there have been so many leaks coming out about every single phone right now, and we just covered the iPhones, and one of my favorite devices last year was the Pixel 4a, mostly because of the price tag, the quality of the phone, and the software. And the successor to this is going to be the Pixel 5a, and what it's looking like to be is that the Pixel 5a is going to be a pretty big jump from the Pixel 4a, which I'm really happy about. I mean, if it's a bigger jump, go for it, you know what I mean? But one of the bigger differences is going to be the size. So originally the Pixel 4a is actually a smaller phone than the Google Pixel 5, but what's looking like to be is that the Pixel 5a is actually going to be a bigger phone than the Pixel 5, and it's looking like to be around the same size as the Pixel 4a 5G. Now, I think this is great and I think this is cool, but I'm running into an issue where most times when manufacturers, you know, drop another phone, they typically keep it smaller than the predecessor. To kind of give you an idea that it's maybe not as good of a phone as the previous one, but from what we've seen, like for example with like the iPhone, you know, SE2 with the Pixel 4a and some other devices, they're typically smaller, but there's also been cases where the bigger model and sometimes arguably the better looking one is the cheaper one. We look at the Pixel lineup for example. The Pixel 3a I think was a bigger phone than the standard Pixel 3, but it was a better looking phone in my opinion too. And then the Pixel 3a XL was a bigger phone there too. And we didn't really get a Pixel 4a XL, we got the Pixel 4a 5G, which was kind of like the XL version. So this could honestly be true. There hasn't really been any crazy news whether it's going to be getting a 90Hz display or not, but I'm probably going to say it won't, but if it does, that's going to be awesome. And we've actually gotten some leaks from OnLeaks a while ago about what this device could look like, and if it truly is a bigger phone, it looks like it's going to be a little slimmer around the sides, but it's looking to be still that hole punch display, which I'm happy about. But on the back, we should be getting that dual camera setup. So before with the 4a, we had that single camera setup, but now if the Pixel 5a gets an increase there, we could theoretically be getting that dual camera setup on the back, which is going to be perfect. If that ends up being the case, I would love that. And still, we haven't gotten any news whether it's going to be getting wireless charging, but I'm going to assume since Google is probably, you know, I think they already make some wireless chargers, it would just make sense for them to, you know, put wireless charging on their device. I'm not 100% too sure, but that could end up being the case. Now, on top of that, internally, it should be about the same speed, you know, from what we've seen as something like the Pixel 5. From, you know, Phone Arena, what they have on their article is that the Pixel 5a may end up having the Snapdragon 732 or the Snapdragon 690, either one or the other, you know, depending if they make a 5G model or they make a smaller end model. But I guess we'll see what happens, you know, they also mentioned that the OnePlus Nord N10, the other OnePlus device that's, you know, the cheaper market, also has that Snapdragon 690. So if that ends up being the case, it's going to be pretty okay. I'm curious to see how it holds up against the 765G that the Pixel 5 had. But I think regardless, you know, I think it's going to have a pretty decent performing chipset inside of it. And there's also rumored to kind of have around 6 gigs of RAM. So I think that's great if that ends up being the case. But I can definitely tell you, if they don't increase the price tag of this phone, if they still keep it at $349, and even if it's cheaper, there may even be cheaper than that because of some things that we've seen with, you know, Amazon decreasing the prices here and there. It may even be cheaper than that coming in like the next month or two. So we'll see what happens. But this is pretty much what we know right now about the Google Pixel 5a. If you guys have any other questions or any other news comes out, I'll let you guys know. But let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I'll love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.